Hello, friends and family. Um, my name is Kevin Braze, and I am one of the co-owners of On One Studios. Um, I just wanted to come on to give you guys a quick announcement, a couple of updates, and some things to look forward to. So, yeah. Um, I kind of wanted to start off by just saying that this year has been very difficult, extremely hard for us in the dance industry um, as dancers, um, business owners, and it's been really tough, and I think we've faced challenges that we could have never predicted. Um, but if it wasn't for the support group that would, that we had around us, I don't think we would have been able to get through it. And so I want to definitely give a special thanks to our mentors, our staff members, our customers, and our friends and family for continuing to support us through this tough time and giving us the courage and energy to really push forward and, um, grow from this whole experience. So I also wanted to give a special shout out to the company for hosting their mask fundraiser to raise funds for three of our local studios. Thank you guys so much for your donation and taking the time to do that. It's really special and we can't thank you guys enough. Um, also wanted to give a special shout out to some of our students who have been um, pretty much organizing workshops as well to raise funds for the studio. Um, it's a great way for um, them, to, them to basically be able to use their gift of dance and being able to give back. It's really, really um, awesome. And I enjoy seeing them on um, social media. Lastly, I wanna definitely thank um, everyone who had donated to the GoFundMe so far. We are currently at 7,200, which is 14% of our goal. So it's a great start. And all I ask is that you guys continue to spread the word, continue to support in any way that you guys can. Um, and let's all work together to basically continue um, the fight to save On One Studios. So now to some really exciting news. Um, so as of last Wednesday, the Santa Clara County has moved into the orange tier, which means that we are allowed to host indoor classes. Yes, indoor classes. Um, it's super exciting. I can't wait to be able to see our studio filled, um, not necessarily filled, but um, for, pe for people to basically be dancing into the studio again, it's really, a site that I miss and I'm excited to be able to witness that again. Of course, masks are required and we are limiting the capacity um, to 13 people for our largest room. On top of a list of other protocols and safety measures that we are taking from the Santa Clara County um, guidelines. So we're definitely gonna be following those very closely to make sure that we have a safe experience. Um, it's really exciting um, and I can't wait. Honestly, um, the new schedule is going to be coming out on October 26th. Um, so that is next Monday. Please be on the lookout on our social media and our website for the updated schedule. Um, and it'll also denote whether classes are going to be indoor or outdoor. We are doing a combination of both. So please keep a keen eye for that. Um, lastly, I did want, I did want to touch base with the USEP members. Miss you guys. Um, we are going to be reactivating your guys' accounts, um, so please be on the lookout for an email um, that will um, disclose a lot more information regarding that. Um, so uh, be on the lookout, USAP members. Um, we're going to be reactivating your account very soon. Thank you guys so much um, for tuning in, listening, and I hope to see you guys soon in the studio.